generation iron app on google play and the app store I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. I, I want to ask you about your strategy when you're building a social media, right? Because a lot of, a lot of, you know, a lot of people are going to watch this stuff from the fitness, from the fitness space and bodybuilding space, yeah. right? Obviously, you can't make money as a bodybuilder just competing, just doing shows, right? I think social media is a way to really generate income right now nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, fact. Wait, when you started your social media, you st you started from nothing. Obviously, you started from zero, and now yeah. you know you're very successful on it. What is the right strategy here? Is it the right approach to keep looking at what people are, you know, liking, and then do more of that? Is it just kind of like what was your strategy like when you're building a social media? You know what I'm saying? Because I know you posted a lot in the beginning, and you still do. But I mean, like, were you evolving as the time passed on, or were you just sticking to what? You, um, you, know, you, you, you got to see the When you're building a social media, you got to understand what people is looking for. Mm -hmm. And you got to understand you can't please everybody. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of these bodybuilders, someone that is not versatile, they're not athletic. They, 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 they can't succeed in certain places. They just focus on one thing. Mm -hmm. And that's why during the pandemic, a lot of them crash because they don't know how to move. I could move from bodybuilding to boxing. Now, I'm capitalizing all boxing fans. I could jump to bodybuilding. I could capitalize the bodybuilding game. I could go to acting if you're on screen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now I got acting producers and all these people that are coming at me. So it's it's tapping into what you're good at, what you're great at, and what people love to see. But at the same time, don't forget who you are. Mm -hmm. So when I came into when I came into bodybuilding, I came with that. When I came into the Instagram, I came with energy. You know what I'm saying? I used to call Mac Rashid, Cali Muscle, all these jokers and out when I was into the, the bodybuilding. I used to be like, I'm the greatest. I'm the best. You know what I'm saying? All you jokers soft. If you never work out with me, you soft. You weak. You scared they, of me. They, you they, know what I'm saying? Were they offended in that when you said that? You know what I'm saying? Cali Muscle, it did hit me back back then. He said, yo, bro, why you keep tagging me, man? Tax supplement company. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Mark Rashi would reply, be like, yo, I see you, King. Keep going. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But that's the energy I come in the game. Like, yo, I'm the greatest. I'm the best. And a lot of people, I would call out so many people like, yo, boy, it wasn't in a disrespectful way. It was in a way like, see me. You're going to see me. You can't duck me forever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't duck me forever because I, I I was doing it before Instagram. I was doing this. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you joking to do this to, to sell program, to do this. Listen, I was I was born to do this. You know what I'm saying? It's a different if you're building a platform to like to say, okay, I'm gonna go into bodybuilding and learn it a little bit and not become a professional and learn from you, learn from this coach, and write everything down to teach me then. And, and take a couple of little sub over here and there and get big, then I sell it to somebody. Now, you're talking to somebody who was made for this. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're talking to somebody who, 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 who the light go off right now, would do a thousand push up before I leave the dock. And I speak everything I ever say. You know what I mean? Being real. You know, see, a lot of people start, the reason why a lot of people get to a certain level that they stop, then they start watching the image. And they start being scared of what to say because they come in the game with different perspective. That's mm -hmm. why they don't grow. Because they come in the game pretending that somebody else. They come in the game faking to be somebody else. So now, how long can you fake that 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 person you are? Then when you get to certain level, like I don't care. You could have ten thousand. All these jokers could have five thousand million followers. We step in the same room. They can't stand the energy. You saw what I did to CT Fletcher gym when I went down there? I got a text message from CT Fletcher. He said, yo, Chip, you make Iron War one of the best ever. Because it's passion. We're talking about passion. We do this is about the money. This is about the likes. This is about changing the world, inspiring people, letting people know, like, yo, I'm, I wake up this morning, I'm great. Yeah. But if you if you if you if you pull some you pull somebody who got five million followers and, and in a room with somebody who been 
becoming somebody who they was until they get to that point. Now they scared of they scared to collab with somebody who have energy and passion for what they do. Well, let me ask you something. I, I know I know a few people, right? Very very popular, um, have millions of followers on so, on social media, right? And they told me now that they have so many followers, they're scared to post because they're afraid that this post is not going to get the same amount of likes as the previous post. But that's what I'm saying. That's 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 people. That's people who do this. They, they've been faking the whole time. Now they come to the point that they're right out of content. They can't talk about nothing else. I got so many things I'm going on. That's, I'm just, I'm just, I got motivation video to inspire people when you're going through that deep time of life. You know what I'm saying? That dark side. You know what I'm saying? They can't talk about that dark side because they never been through it. They mm -hmm. never been through that dark side. Everything, a lot of these guys, everything was handed to them. It was handed to them, man. Somebody knows somebody that they know somebody and brought them in. They got it the easy way. We had to go from follow. Go, go back to my Instagram 2011. You would see one follower, one light. It was me. And I used to be excited because of me. So whatever I post, I love it. So even if you don't like it, I love it because I know what it is from my heart. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of mm -hmm. the guys are facing now because they don't post what from their heart. They post where they think people going to like. You know what I'm saying? Some video might hate. Some video might not. But the idea is that you speak into somebody. If I'm doing something, I'm doing it for this person. This person right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it for this person right here. So you might like skit. You might like chimp walking the door, kicking people food. That's what you like. So if I'm going to the gym and deadly fire place and I'm excited or I'm going to hit the boxing bags and I'm excited, you might not like it. Because you don't like champ for that. You like champ to come in the room, keep somebody food, and she explode. That That's what funny. you love champ for. <laughs> then you then you got sure. the bodybuilder that when I was going to the gym, like, yo, I'm the best bodybuilder out here, man. Nobody going out work, man. I'm going to go to 2020. I'm going to win the all show. And we going in. We going to the gym. We tear something up. We rip something up. We out there. We got the pump. We walking around. You know what I mean? I got fans for that. That's their video. Have you ever been? Have you ever been confronted by somebody in person who didn't like something that you posted on social media for whatever reason? Nah, 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 nah. 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 Or everybody, they wouldn't tell people. Would be like, they would be inspired, man. They would be inspired and be like, "Yo, champ." You know what I'm saying? I'm mad at you because now when I go to the chicken shop, I go to Burger King, I can't. I gotta look to my right, look to my left if I order the burger before you come and keep. Now, nah, man, everything. Everything, man, we, we, I try to keep it positive, man. You know what oh, I'm saying? You do, of course. I try to keep it positive. I try to, you know what I mean? I try to keep it positive. Everything, like I tell everybody, everything is not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? My, somebody build up mad at me right now. I'm boxing. They gave mm -hmm. my DM, like, your champ, when we going to start hitting? You know what I mean? We want you back. We want our 260 champ. You know what I'm saying? They want that. And some, some fans, they love that. I took them out of that dark side of boxing. They're like, damn, if Champ Tim is not a boxer and Champ jogging for three hours straight, Tim on the cardio machine running the treadmill for like two hours straight. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a wake up call to dump. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then we got the catastatics people that do pull up, push up, and dips. I got, I got a kid up to them too. I got to go in that bar, do that for them. I got to tap into their world. 